Hey there, hello, good morning everybody. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host for the next seven minutes or so right here on Seven Minutes in the Morning. Hey, let me get a couple of things going here. So, hope you're having a great Thursday morning so far. I think I've got a great, uh, a great topic for us to talk about for a few minutes uh, here as you get your day started. Whether you're watching live or watching on the replay, it would be fantastic if you would drop a comment down below. Just say hi, let me know that you're here, and uh, that's encouraging to me. And it also has an added benefit for you. As the conversation continues, even after the uh, video is over, uh, it, Facebook does us a favor. It will, they will continue to notify you as that conversation goes on, because there's some really good stuff. Some real gold that goes on down in the comments. Uh, so don't be sure, uh, don't be sure. Be sure to not miss out on that. So a couple of quick good mornings already. Uh, Keith and Tina, good morning to both of you. That's not bad sitting this far away from the screen with no glasses. I'm pretty impressed with myself. So uh, today you might see I have framed things up a little differently because I want to share a picture with you. This is our... Uh, the uh, inspiration for our conversation this morning comes from a quote from Robert Kiyosaki. Don't let the fear of losing be greater than the excitement of winning. And I love the little picture of the, the mouse with the motorcycle helmet on. I wonder if they glued that on there. Anyway... Don't let the fear of losing be greater than the excitement of winning. The, the whole idea behind that is the, the excitement of winning should encourage you. It should inspire you. It should draw you into the result that you are trying to create. And where do we spend most of our time, thinking time, when we are trying to create a result? Instead of thinking about uh, the excitement, the, the reward of achieving that outcome, we spend our time thinking about all the ways we could lose it. Right? What could go wrong? Well, what if this doesn't work? Well, what if that doesn't work? Well, what if they don't come by? Well, what if they don't approve it? Everything we think about is centered around failure. At least, even if it's not everything, it's the vast majority of what we think about, right? And we'll think about, oh man, it'd be great if this... I, I mean, let, just listen to this language for a second. Oh man, it'd be great if I got a raise. Yeah, but Joe got one last time and and uh, I don't know, they, they, we've got travel restrictions and I, I probably won't get one. So I spent two-thirds of the time thinking about reasons I wouldn't get one and all I said was, boy, it'd be great. Right? If we spent half as much time thinking about the positive outcome as we did the negative outcome, we would have so much more, I'll just call it motivation, to work toward that positive outcome. You know, we talked about motivation earlier in the week and how um, motivation is based on our motives. Right? And so how do we create those motives? If instead, if you're thinking about getting a raise, or you're thinking about increasing revenue in your business, don't think about the, the, don't think about it in those terms. Well, wouldn't it be great to, you know, make an extra five thousand dollars this month? Okay, yeah, it would be great. Everybody can agree with that. What would you do with it? What would that mean to you? What are the emotions, the experiences that you're going to buy into, that you're going to get to take advantage of because of that added revenue? That's where you need to spend your time. Instead of just saying, boy, it'd be great. Man, it'd be great if, if I got a raise. We could take a vacation in September. Take the whole week of Labor Day off instead of just the one day. Right? And go on a trip, go on a cruise, well, whatever. Right? Spend some time thinking about it. Because remember, our brain doesn't know the difference. Right? Memories are just electrical and chemical impulses. Right? And if you spend time, if you close your eyes, you meditate, think about sitting on the deck of the ship and letting the sun beat down on you. 
and how it makes your skin warm. And even though your eyes are closed, it's still kind of bright through the sun shining through your eyelids. And you can hear the water around you. Yeah, there's some people talking, but, you know, you start thinking about it in those terms and actually experiencing the outcome that you want. Now that becomes more real to you. And as that becomes more real, just as we were talking earlier this uh, this week or last week, if you want to add something, you got to take something out. So if I'm adding more more motive built around that positive experience of that outcome, then I necessarily will take out some of the negative. Now, I can hear the consternation in all the engineering minds watching. <laughs> But we have to be concerned about the negative. How do we mitigate? How do... Yes, I agree. You have to be aware of those, and you have to have strategies to mitigate those, but you don't have to live there. right? The probability that most of those things are going to happen is pretty small. right? Some of them might happen. Some portion of them might happen. But it's never as bad as you think it's going to be. Conversely, your positive experience could be much greater than you think it's, it's going to be if you just build that expectation around it. Build the motive behind it in order to find the motivation. I hope that's helped a little bit this morning. Uh, you know, every once in a while it never hurts to remind myself of those things. If you have questions or comments, leave them down there in the comments. I would love to see them. Let's see if I can read this one on the white background here. Positive mental attitude. Don't be defeated before we get started. So, so true, Keith. So many times we will let the negative, the possibility of the negative outcome, dissuade us from even beginning. Right? I'll never be able to save that much money. I'll never be able to find 100,000 customers. I'll never be able to, you fill in the blank. And then we just... We're dismissive of the whole idea. I'll never be able to do that, so, yeah, forget it. I'm not going to do it. That's great, Keith. Thanks for sharing that. All right, one more time, our quote of the day. Don't let the fear of losing be greater than the excitement of winning. How do we do that? By spending more time in the winning experience in our mind than we do in the losing experience. I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday. Hey, free coaching Friday tomorrow. If you have a question, be sure and leave it. Send me a message on the Unashamed Nonconformist Facebook page, or you can send me an email, tom at tomrigsby.com, and I'll go through any of them that I get and pick out a good question, and we'll go from there. Uh, there is a possibility. Let me know in the comments what you want me to do with this. I'm going to be pre-recording an episode of Talk Radio for Entrepreneurs today. My guest is not going to be in town much longer, so I'm going to get him in the studio and pre-record it. It will, I don't think I'm going to run it this Tuesday, um, but I'm going to go ahead and have it so we can air it at some future time. If you would like to watch while we are recording that, leave a comment down there, let me know, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, run the live cam while we're recording. I, by the way, I have Tuesday, if any of you have been watching Talk Radio for Entrepreneurs, you know I've been very frustrated <laughs> with the uh, the inability to get program audio into the video, so I stuck around for about an hour and a half Tuesday after the show and got all that wiring figured out, so I, I think, fingers crossed, we've got that part figured out. All right? Oh, and uh, one other quick reminder, don't forget, if you are trying to create results in your life, in your work, or in your business, and you're stuck, check out the Fast Five program, TomRigsby.com slash Fast Five, or just go to TomRigsby.com. It's up in the top right-hand corner. Uh, five easy steps so you can start creating results today. Gotten some pretty interesting comments back on that already. I'm, uh, I'm excited with where that's going. All right, really, that's it. That's all. You guys have a great Thursday. Be back and talk to you again in the morning. Take care.